y'all. Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. I'm literally in the building. I'm inside. <laughs> nah, but um, so in this video, I want to actually fully unbox the Tron Pistons H beam rods, and I also want to show you guys what you would have to do in order to send your block out to CSS. So stay tuned. So yeah, come have a seat with your boy. You know what I mean? We're going to fully unbox these. I actually didn't fully unbox them uh, since I got them. I kinda, what y'all saw in the last video is, uh, is about as much as what I've seen. So, um, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> Trom is a new company making pistons. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about them so far. Um, all of the top racers, not all of them, but a lot of the top racers that are building new motors are going with Trom. Um, so I can't fully review it, obviously, until I install the pistons in the motor, but I guess we'll walk through uh, what's in the box, if you get it. Um, shout out to Rising Motorsports, or yeah, Rising Sun Motorsports, um, Pancho Sancho, he's the one who hooked me up. Um, so, box is uh, nicely packaged. All of the specs for the pistons, um, for what motor and, and the bore size and the compression ratio is all written on, neatly on the side, which I think is pretty standard for whatever company um, you order pistons from. But again, done very nicely. Looks good. So, looks like we have the rings. They all come neatly packaged in their own separate box. Then, looks like they got the paperwork. Comes with the paperwork. Uh, let's see. Tells you literally all the. Yeah. This pretty much gives you all the information that you would need um, if you were like a machine shop and trying to port. Seems like I've never done this before, so I don't know 100%. But um, it comes with like these little rings, round wire locks. I think those are for uh, when you stick the rod through the actual piston. But they, they give you that. Of course, you got some trom stickers, memorabilia, advertisement, and then you have, ooh, man, that is beautiful, that is freaking beautiful, bro, well, you get the actual piston, I think I'm going to actually take one of these out of the bag so you guys can see how clean it is. I kind of don't want to, but I kind of do. Yeah, let's hope. They do some really solid work, man. It looks like it anyway. That is crazy. Real clean. So there you go. Those are Trom Pistons. Unboxing. Let's put that away. So up next, we got the KS tuned H beam rods. So as soon as you open it, uh, you got what AP ARP Ultra Torque Fastener Assembly Lubricant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, all the 
paperwork, then of course. Wee. You know I gotta pull one of these out. Hold on. Mm. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. That right there. That's nice. You can tell, even if you've never held like a, this is gonna sound real, real wild, but even if you, even if you never held like parts like that in your hand, um, before, you can tell when you, when you, when you're opening it, um, and you actually have it in your hand, it's quality stuff, man. Um, next part to the puzzle is, we gotta send this block to CSS, man. Hey! You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Looking um, online, there's not a lot of information on how to actually package your box correctly. Like the way that they tell you when you go on the website, they have instructions on how to do this the correct way to ensure that your block gets there safely, regardless of if it gets dropped or, or you know thrown around or whatever. So because I couldn't find any information, uh, mostly visual information like pictures or videos, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So there's a few things you're gonna need. Um, they tell you to get, uh, this is where it's gonna be a little different for me. Um, they tell you to get a certain dimension box, um, heavy duty. Uh, I think they say it's, uh, I forget what the actual dimensions are, but I couldn't find the box with the dimensions. I couldn't find a heavy duty box with the dimensions that they put on the website. So this is the biggest box I could, they had, heavy duty, and I think it's too small. I don't think it's long enough for the block to actually sit in there with the foam. Um, so I'm actually gonna scrap the box I did. So I'm gonna scrap the, the cardboard box I did, and I'm actually gonna use one of these uh, tubs. Um, for those of you who watched the other video, you'll know that this is what uh, the block came in. Um, the only reason why I didn't originally want to use this again to send it out was because um, the box is already kind of damaged from the first time it was sent. But I'm just gonna reuse it. I may or may not go try to find a bigger box, a heavy duty box, but um, basically you're gonna need a box, whether it be cardboard or like a tub like this. And I actually got this, um, it's like this grade 50 um, foam from Lowe's. Um, looks like this. It came in like a big, like, I don't wanna, maybe like a six by 12 cutout. And I had to like slice it up to fit in the car. But it looks like this is basically like insulation foam, I think. Kind of has a little bit of give, but it's kind of tough. Uh, you're gonna wanna cut pieces of this to fit in the box. So I'll show you what that looks like. So basically what I did was I got this foam and I put the foam on the bottom and I put the block, uh, what would be the up, the top part of the motor, up, I basically put the up motor upside down, the block upside down, then I basically filled it in with this foam so that it's protected and you know stuff gets thrown around with FedEx and UPS, PS and all that stuff so you know what I'm saying, better to be safe than sorry. So basically what I did was I took the pistons out of the box and I wrapped them 
um, in this cardboard piece with the info because they're going to need the info to board out to the uh, specs. I put the piece of cardboard right there to help protect that, kind of cushion a little bit. And then um, when you send it to CSS, they want you to basically fill in all the information on a piece of paper, everything you want done, including the return address. And then, uh, let's see, my gimbal just died, but I'm going to keep the show moving. Uh, then the last thing I'm going to do is put like this final piece on top, put the piece of paper. Uh, I'm going to put the lid, where is the lid? I don't know where the lid is. Oh, lid's right here. Put the lid back on and then basically tape it all back up, man, and then it'll be ready to go. So if you ever need to send your, your block out to CSS, and that's how I did it. And you could do the same or you could use the same method but use a, a box, a heavy duty box. So yeah. There you have it, man. I got it all boxed up, ready to go. So I'm headed to the uh, probably the UPS store, see what kind of deal I can get on the shipping. And uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. I know you guys like to see updates when it comes to stuff like this. Um, so hit that like button. And uh, you see that right there? That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.